So the project was to replace a 1950s building in between a 1987 structure and a 1978 structure and integrate all three of these structures into one building to make it feel like it was one school. We had a building that was well beyond service life. We had leaking, we had issues with, with all sorts of components of the building and it absolutely needed replacing. Uh, the big concern was a bigger building would mean more students, more traffic and all of those things in this neighborhood. We learned uh, what the city and the neighborhood uh, was not willing to accept, use those recommendations and the key one was to take the existing building out and build out of its old foundation and that seemed to be the, the right direction. Uh, the idea was get the kids out of, out of this school and into another school for, for one school year and be ready to go. Probably the biggest miracle was finding the relocation site, especially in light that the province had a moratorium on school closures and it uh, took a lot of situations and circumstances to fall into place. As far as being able to, to meet the timelines, it, it was really about getting information into people's hands about changes. When you think about the structure that had to be taken down and all the connections that had to be to be severed and saved and then reconnected because we reused uh, existing infrastructure, existing heaters, boilers, and all that kind of, uh, those kinds of systems had to all be back, tied back in. We have the river on one side and uh, a community, it's a very small uh, area, very difficult to get equipment in. What was very, very important was the teamwork aspect. We had a very uh, tight budget, we had a very tight timeline, and so decision making was incredibly important. Uh, every two weeks we met on site and the owners were involved in the, the meetings with the subtrades. We worked through problems collaboratively. We used uh, some of the methods from uh, Boxdell where to use some lean uh, engineering and construction methods. And I got to know a lot of the workers and uh, they knew who I was and they had a buy-in to this project. We continually had the right person at the right time, uh, particularly at the board level, uh, that carried the project through. When you, when you walk into this space, that's the first thing that you can see, is that there is so much light in this building, and it is just so much more inviting than it, than it previously was. The space is really what, what makes this, this school function so much better. Previously, the, the hallways were crowded, the, the rooms were tight, and now we've got uh, so much more space. What we have here now is a building that will sustainably keep this, this organization moving forward for decades upon decades.